It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Omnipolo and it's a Fata Morgana Imperial India Pale Ale at 8% ABV. Look at this beer. That looks absolutely fantastic to look at. Love that design work. Here's the back. And I'm not sure if you can see this, but it looks like a deep murky coloured IPA. It looks like it's absolutely jam-packed and I want to just move this beer around slightly on the bottom because from where I'm looking I can just see that sediment moving around on the bottom of the bottle. I don't know if you can catch that. Heard great things about Omnipolo from Sweden. Thank you to my friend Johan in Sweden for sending the beer. Let's get it open into a glass and see what we get. Just had a little whiff of that. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Looks like a glass of freshly squeezed orange and lemon juice. A one finger white head. That is kind of hanging around a little bit. Lovely murky coloured beer. As I say, like, like a glass of lemon and orange juice, freshly squeezed. Let's get the aroma on this Imperial IPA then. Oh, it's so fresh. You would be forgiven for thinking that you've just put your nose into an alcoholic orange and lemon punch drink. But this is all American hops. Ah, it smells so good. Gotta dive into this one. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> oh. Stone the crows. Oh my goodness me, that is good. That is eyeball itchingly good. <laughs> Hold on one second, there's so much going on. I need to have another taste. The beer is so drinkable. <laughs> oh, blimey. It's so bitter. It's so bitter, but I love that bitterness. It just defines this style of beer, doesn't it? It just says to you, you want flavour? I am going to give you so much flavour, so much flavour, that, that you're going to scream with enjoyment. Might, but might as well have been a big handful of hops flying out of my mouth. That is absolutely staggering. There is so many hops in this beer that it kind of do you know that reaction, your natural bodily reaction, that that kind of that you do when 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 maybe you put a crazy chili pickled onion in your mouth and you're crunching on it and all that vinegar's going everywhere. 
you're loving it. You are absolutely loving it. But sometimes the reaction kind of goes, it's, it's just that kind of, I can't recreate it unless I drink some more beer. Maybe my, my kind of senses are getting used to it a little bit more now. Um, but let's, come on, let's talk about the flavour of this beer. A lot of lemon, a lot of lime. It's that very kind of acidic vitamin C flavour you get. But, and this is important, but without that big, thick, sticky, normally for a double IPA, consistency. This beer, you will look at it. It looks, it looks like any kind of 4% ABV beer, but it's not, it's 8% ABV. And it's staggering that they've been able to get the amount of refreshment that's in this beer. This, this lovely kind of thin, watery, but juicy consistency. Normally, it's big, it's sugary, it's thick, it's gloopy, it's a one beer a night drink. But be it, this could be very dangerous. If, if you were at a barbecue or at a festival or at the beach and somebody took a couple of bottles of them down to the beach, they would slip down so quickly. Is mango, grapefruit, pineapple, passion fruit, mango. I've said mango already. I wanted to say mango again because it's got so much mango in it. Um, it's it is quite sweet. It is quite sweet to begin with, but that bitterness on the back end is absolutely marvellous. Um, Sweden's Omnipolo then, uh, brewed by Omnipolo at Pub Dog Brewing Company, Westminster, Maryland. Product of the United States. I'm a bit confused. Uh, Omnipolo, Stockholm, in Sweden. Uh, Brewed by Omnipolo, a pub dog brewing company, Westminster, Maryland. Is this a collaboration between the two companies? Again, I don't do much research online. I just like to kind of stand in front of you guys and say, if you know about this beer, if you know all about this beer, part of the fun of watching my reviews is to put your comments in the comments box and we'll have a discussion about it. If I was to have a big read of the internet, I'd be standing here going, yes, this beer is brewed in Portland, Oregon, Maryland, uh, it's a Swedish beer. I don't want to be like a bleeding robot. I want to be, I want to be the guy drinking the beer, and I want kind of everybody to have a discussion about this beer below in the comments box. So, is this beer brewed in Sweden? Is it brewed in Maryland, in, in the US? I don't know. But what I do know is this beer is absolutely fantastic. Rating then. Fabulous, fabulous stuff. I've kind of gotten used to this beer now. My palate's adjusted massively to this beer. Um, but just rewind to the start of the review if you want to see me going. <laughs> um, without a shadow of a doubt, this is a fantastic brewery in Sweden that I've been really trying to kind of try for a long time it's been I, I i post some of my reviews on reddit um and some swedish guys have said you've got to get some omnipolo stuff um it's really good I'm glad to have been able to get it uh, my rating for this beer it has lived up to the hype it's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from real craft beer put your comments in the comments box please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers